last time on Dog Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. Are you really watching us, Makoto? Good luck, okay? Okay, yeah. Kamaru! If it ended there, that would be fine. A message of love and support. I believe my found behind that didn't hope to speak. It had given me hope, given me strength. If this was normal school, I would be happy if a, a little embarrassed. With family support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here now, it was totally different. I was living in an ordinary school life. So I had a pretty strong feeling the video wasn't going to end there. I hate that I hate having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. And now back to trying to ditch school. Do it, it will turn out okay. Hey everyone, it's a day night here, and I'm back for more Dark Naropa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time we saw Monokuma's uh, motivations, and we like had to, uh, what's the word? Oh, yeah, see, our family was in trouble, said so everybody else. Well, this time we uh, now we. Mazona freaked out, and we gotta we got, we got go see how she's doing. And we'll just uh, see how Rose is doing first. Uh, uh, Makoto, these videos are some kind of hooks, right? 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 I want to think so, but. What the hell, man? <laughs> this is all one big lie. It has to be. <laughs> uh... <coughs> what was in your video, Taka? Uh, I saw. <coughs> Sorry, it's gonna take me the time to figure out putting the words. What should I do? Uh, everyone's really upset. <coughs> I mean, how could anyone be calm right now? <coughs> Why? How can something like that even exist? I, I just don't understand. I, I, I don't. If you'll do something like that, it, is it because they really, really are the murderous fiend? What was in your you, you Muffy? Um, so it would seem. Before you, if I yeah, you ask something like that, it's only polite that you say what you you saw first, don't you? Don't you think? Well, I. Why are you covering your ears? Yes, indeed. If I don't, if I don't hear yours. I don't have to say mine. It's the artist. See no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. I don't think that's how it works. What was in your video, Sakura? I'm sorry. My family. But I'm not upset. But I'm not upset what I say. Saul. If you have power, if you have power, you must accept your death. That's the way of my family. Damn. But I, st but I still believe they. But I still believe. I still believe they refuse to lose so, lose so easily. How? Oh, so your video, Kiri Gary. <coughs> I make angry. Wow. <coughs> Why 
should I tell you? Okay. <coughs> that was interesting. Yeah. Where could she have gone? Oh, damn it. She can't have gone far. I should take her around the school. There's Leon. Anything here? Man, I'm not gonna tell you. That's all there is to it. What? Uh, hmm. I'm not gonna tell you. No way in hell. No way in hell. You. You're just, you're just acting all nice so I can hear. We'll tell you what you want to hear. You can't fool me. What the hell? Damn it! How did they how did they get that footage of that? Yeah. Anything in here? Body in here, I mean. Nope. Yeah. Where then? Oh. <coughs> Let's see. Ooh, there's Hina. Um. Like what? Like wait it. Uh. Like, like, where did I? Like, I ran off too. <laughs> anyway, that video is pretty convincing. I am, I am. I almost thought it was real. Cause I mean, it's it's fake. It's gotta be right. It's gotta be. I like to believe that, but if it was real. in the bathroom. Maybe in the gym? It's Ch Chunko! But more important. <coughs> like Makoto, aren't you like super curious about what's in everyone's videos? Can't, I mean I can't say I'm not curious. <laughs> Like, right? I can totally tell. That, you gonna tell me what's on yours? Like, like who knows? It all depends on what kind of mood I'm in, you know? I don't think it's gonna tell me. Anybody in here? Ooh. No, but I can check some stuff here. Maybe. Those two things. Balance camera. Uh, 
Okay. Well, well, well. Let's, let's, be, let's be locked. Oh. Oh, there she is. What is the I got here? But right now, Mazona matters. I found her in. The, uh, too bad that wasn't in, in the B classroom. That would've been awesome. But let's throw a different stuff. Throw a different different game, I guess. I found her in the corner of one of the empty classrooms. She was sitting in a chair, her hands on her knees, staring absolutely at the floor. She looked like she was, maybe she was upset or angry or no. She didn't have any expression at all. There's nothing on, on her face that you could call emotion. It was a, it was as if her original mask had been stripped away. Mizono, are you okay? No, calm down. She thrashed about. I grabbed her by the shoulders. Huh? I understand. I know how you feel right now when I think about what might have happened to my family. But now more than ever, we have to stay calm. Exactly what they want, want us. They want us to lose our composure and to stop thinking rationally. Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really had happened, people out there would be an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone. Right? So let's, so let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I knew I was trying to convince myself just as much as her. <laughs> I, I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that had been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find some way out of here. And help might even come before that. That happens, and I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. When I said that, I paused. I had no idea what had come over me. Sayaka? She's crying into his chest. Oh. It's just, oh, God. Please. Her voice was small and shaky. Why? Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. I should cry. Sayaka. <gasps> Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big wet eyes of hers. Makoto! Can't, 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 can I believe what you said? Huh? That you'll help, that you'll help me get out? No matter what it takes? Absolutely. Trust. 
Lisa, please. No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. God, the emotions. The musical and voices in these games. Uh, of course I'll be there for you. No matter what, I'm always on your side. I mean, you are you are my sister after all. Makoto. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I. I I can get through this as long as that you you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant. The smile I'd come to know so well returned to her face. It felt a little forced, but still, it was a huge improvement over how she was before. Hey, hey! Boo! It's standing up. <laughs> Makoto, it's standing up. What's standing up? Have to ask. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You're flagpole. <gasps> Get the hell out of here. Just a no, no, no. I want to join in. Damn it. Well, if you won't leave, then tell us what the hell's up with those videos. Ah, uh, it's about to come out. It's about to come out. My, pu my pristine pure white. Yeah Stuffing. My, my honest, innocent stuffing's about to come gussing out. I pulled my fist up and took aim and swung as hard as I could. I never put so much energy into a single motion in my, before in my life. I leaned back, channeling all my power, and let go of everything I had. <laughs> Are you okay? I didn't avoid your punch. You had just a, a violate school regulations. Hey. But boy, are you slow. Slow, 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 slow! I could have down. Woohoo! I could have down a thousand course, dollar full course dinner before the time it took you to finish your swing. Aww. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, agonizing, it's all lacking. Was that just now? He just wanted to mess with us. Uh, um. Well, for now, you want to he just head back? Yeah. Monokuma had come along and swiftly destroyed the good mood we had just created. Mizono and I head back to the dorms. You said to get some rest, Mizono. You still look pretty shaken. Sorry. I'm sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. You're right. You're right. I'm just gonna lay down for a bit. But not in small bells disappeared into her room. Now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone that Mizono was okay. But that was then I decided to go back to my room. It's hard to think after watching that deranged video. I need some rest of my own. Jeez. Seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. <laughs> I came in to say what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped here? That what I saw in the video might be real? Nanakuma? What the mastermind has in store for us? Or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here. I can never kill someone. The others all feel the same? Hmm. Yeah, that's the biggest problem right now. Hmm. Hmm. Barbell! Huh? I opened my eyes, I think I immediately to the clock. 
It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without realizing it. My hand's about to start. So how come someone's here? Sorry. I'm really sorry to come by so late. Mazono? Mazono, what are you doing out so late? That's what I noticed. Her body was trembling. Is everything okay? It was so strange. Sorry to bother you, but something weird just happened. Something weird? Oh, no. Just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room. All of a sudden, my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I was so scared. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so I couldn't get in, of course. They started shaking the door harder and harder. I'm so scared I can't even move. So, what happened? After a while, it just stopped. Let some time go by, and then I got up and opened the door to check outside. Makoto. But there was no one by there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who did something like that? I mean... It's not like I'm supposed to have anyone here, but still, it makes me nervous. What if, if something like that happened in the middle of the night? What would I do then? You don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, you can't get outside during nighttime. But, but that's the promise we made, right? If someone decides to break that promise... Then, then, why don't you stay in my room tonight? Will that make you feel a little better? Huh? What? All it said in the school regulation said was that we had to sleep in the dorm rooms, right? It didn't say, say specifically what each room each person had to sleep in, so... Uh, oh, jeez, I'm sorry. I didn't think about that. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. Uh, um. No, I, I know me either. It's not, it's not even that I mind the idea, but... Uh, um, if you don't mind, can we maybe switch rooms just for a night? Switch rooms? I'll put your at my ease, then it's totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying in my room, but... Are, are you sure you're okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't, like, concern you? <laughs> it's fine! I trust you! In, in that case, then... Enjoy my martini. I went to Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed box fight. Um. Oh man, it's already night time. Okay, okay, so it's settled. I'll head to your room right not right now. Oh, if we're gonna trade rooms, we better trade keys too. <laughs> Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> huh? I was gonna say you're just kidding. <laughs> what if I wasn't just kidding? 
thing resembling a smile had made her way to her face. Thank goodness. Lexi's ready to get back to normal. Okay, we better trade keys then. Okay. Yep, let's do it! <coughs> we exchanged keys, and when I look at, back up her, her again, there was an, another worried impression there. Um. Makoto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, please don't open it. No matter what. I won't. Same goes for you, Mizono. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. <laughs> Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my wrath door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob and lift up on the on the door. You have to turn the knob and lift up on the door while you pull it out. Just do that and the door should open, no problem. Um. Okay, but the chairs don't work during night time anyway, right? Uh, oh, that's right, I totally forgot. <laughs> but, I guess, but I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning. So thank you! Okay, well, I, I better break going. See you tomorrow, Mizono. Hey, um... Oh, and about what I said before. Hmm? <laughs> when I said I'm psychic, it's really a joke. Honestly, I'm very perspective. I'm just very perspective. Pers... Pers... pers p th th that word. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, then. See you in the morning! Zono gave me one last parting smile and head off to my room. Looked around so I got out in the hall. Everyone saw the doors were closed. There was no sign of life. Good, there's nobody here. Making sure no one was around taught me a rest in the Sakia's Mizono's room. So this is Mizono's room. Does it look any different than mine? It smells nice, though. It's kind of weird to think, thinking that to think that other people's trash. I can help you know, taking a quick peek. That. There was any doubt about it. it was DVD with her name on the we found in the AV room. What do you? I never really get a chance to find out what was in her video. Probably at best I wait till, wait, wait till I bring, it springs up again. Two. Ugh. If I remember right, all the girls' private bathrooms have locks on them. I'm a little reluctant to go in. Advanced camera. And we're in here. My room came with a toolkit, but, but Mazonus has a sewing kit, just like the note said. And next to it is the map of the body's vital organs. I don't think Mazonus will like me screwing around too much. I'll probably get to bed soon. So lowered myself in Mazonus' bed, pleasant fragrance enveloped me. Mazonus scent. Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams. Feel a little bit better than I did before I fell asleep. The globe now. Boohoo! Imagine, imagine you're all in the. A big base ship in the middle of the interclassic adventure. You heard Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We set sail and left the Earth behind. Here, you don't worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or 
Pyromaniacs. You don't worry about the ozone layer or asthma reducing air pollution? Of course, you don't have to worry about stress about studying your fire miles or practicing the good game, but you are a divine world of freedom as a few few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. If you're really if you're really dead set and returning that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth. Please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! Hooray! Bing bong. Time to wake up. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! I... I've drank 20 martinis through the night! I'm a bear! I can hold my alcohol! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I set, I set up half, still half asleep. Rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was in Mazzola's room. I just remember I promised to eat breakfast for everyone else. I better get going. I was in Mazzola's room and made my way towards the dining hall. A few people had already got the dining hall at the time I got there. Hello, Mokado! Hey, good morning! Can you believe it? I was the very first one in the here in the morning. <laughs> hey, good, good morning! Hey, Makoto. Morning! I suppose I'm early. I figured everyone who had arrived on time could be considered muddle high schoolers. I wanted to show up a little late. Yo! Sorry! Like, like, sorry I'm late, but... My makeup would not cooperate with me this morning. Ah, well, hello. My, 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 my apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My, my morning uh, duty took a little more, longer than usual. There are the types of a more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers will fall in that, this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad, my bad. Man, my bad, guys. I slept right through my alarm. What's your problem? What? Well, well, is it so awful to be late? Yo. Man, I don't, man, I don't sleep. Just got, you know, got lost. I went to the Bermuda Triangle. I don't, I don't care about, about time or other people in general. They're kind of, they're, they're kind of moving their own pace. Regardless, everyone had, uh, had arrived. Except for Ayakia and Mazono. That's how it's supposed to go. Hmm. Wait, are we, are we still missing some people? Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Mizuno and Tagami aren't here yet. I don't know about Tagami, but... I would definitely put Mizuno in the model high school category. So for her to be so late. What? What's going on? Something happened. Yo. Hey, hey man, have you seen? Hey man, have you seen Mizuno? <laughs> why? Why would I? I just came straight from my room to here. Um... <laughs> did you forget about our breakfast? Did you forget about our breakfast promise? Hello. I got I got the sense that she always had her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of unease rose up inside of me. That speck tried to grow quickly. I need to go. I had to check on her. The words had barely left my lips before I flew out into the hall. Where I had first was 
my room, right? Let Mizuno stay for a single night. Or she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of that one night. The room had been completely transformed. What the hell? This place and this sword was the sword was on. Well, where's, where's Mazono? Keychain on the ground. It's my usually. It has my name on it. So this must be my room key. It was done on the trade rooms. It's not the sword I brought back for self-defense. I'm taking out that it's safe. Apparently, where's Mizuno? Where's the sword back for self-defense? The thief was her sword. The sword's been removed. Where's Mizuno? The sauces are on the gorge and gouts are on the, on the walls and the floor. But oh, where's Mizuno? Okay. The world has been way less sheets than it used to. Bed been damaged too. But where's Masato? It's still inside the drawer and it's still sealed. Finally, where's Masato? Okay. Here we go. I better check the bathroom. Let's take a look inside. It took me a second to realize I was screaming. What I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried itself in my brain. And then, and then, oh, uh, everything went black. Well, with that, I think I'll call myself a day. Oh, our first victim. It's and it's and it's my somewhat girlfriend crush. Anyway, well, I guess let's find out who did it next. <laughs> Anyways. Hit that bell icon and that subscribe button and the thumb up, of course. And join me next time for more Dog in the Rope of Trigger Happy Havoc. Never stop learning. And enjoy the randomness. I'll see you next time. Bye!